So, hello fellow coin collectors, and today on Gumadi, we're going to have a look at the 1959 Florin. And there's a peculiarity which I've actually just found out actually existed. And that is actually what I think is actually a cud on the actual coin. So, here we actually have a 1959, and I'm using a 1960 Florin to compare it with. So, this is the actual part that we're actually looking at here and that is right there that little circle you can see right there and if we compare it with a 1969 you can see it's actually not there so you can see there's no cut there no cut there and basically this is pretty much an all 1959s but we'll have a look at eBay listings and we'll see a few coins and see if it actually has it. Uh, there probably is a few. They probably don't have it. There, will, there are proof coin. I would say most likely they don't have it because they're produced in a high degree standard. So, now I'm not too sure who actually wanted to uh, make a video of, about this. But... I thank you very much for bringing up this actual topic because I didn't actually know about it beforehand. So I actually done a little bit of research and uh, there's not much information about it except that it actually exists. So the people don't really know why it actually happened. Some people think it actually was an egg, although it actually looks more like an arrow. So you've got the actual arrow point going down this way and it was not taken out of the actual coins so three and a half million of these 1959s are actually minted they're the same specifications as all the other florins 50 percent silver 40 percent copper five percent nickel and five percent zinc and it actually produces a nice silver effect like our copper and nickel coins now which is copper and nickel so nickel actually is a good metal, but quite expensive to imitate silver. And it doesn't take much nickel to actually dilute the copper. Anyway, change the colour. So this one, if you can look at the rest of the coin, uh, there's nothing else to distinguish it from the actual ever years. And this one's in pretty high grade. But high grade 1960 florins are actually quite common so it does have some more value but this one you can see this is probably in a fine condition you can see a lot of the actual leaves on the reef are actually gone and a lot of the detail in the hair but it suffices to look uh, using it as an example for 1959 I was actually going to buy a better condition, but I actually purchased this coin with a lot, and I just forgot that I actually purchased this type of florin. So, what do I think it is? Well, as I said before, I think it's actually a cut and not an actual new design, because if it was a new part of the design in 1961, 62, 63, they actually would have included it. But as you can see on this 1960 Florin, they actually have taken it off. And there you go. That's how you not drop coins. And so that is what I reckon is a cud. And it actually slipped through the actual uh, quality control. So there's the actual so that's it there so it actually slipped through the quality control and i reckon that the low mintage for this coin is because they have problems with actually trying to rectify this problem and if you can see the bottom of the shield uh, looks a bit worn but if you can compare it no it seems that they might have had some problems with the bottom of the shield as well. So, they probably decided uh, 
not to mint too many coins while they actually deal with this problem. So we'll have a look on eBay and see if all the coins actually have it. So here we actually have some listings and let's go and check the actual first one. And as you can see, choice uncirculated. And there we go, we actually have the little eggy arrow egg. I'm just going to call it an arrow egg. So, that is on that coin. If, and look at that, 69, choice uncirculated. And if we, this one says proof. But, as you can see, you can see here, ooh, there is no little eggy thing. So, this is described as a proof. Maybe that's pretty much the only way you can actually tell an actual proof from a, what they call a business strike coin, which is used for circulation, is that there is no egg on it. So, that would actually be quite an easy way to actually tell. So, it's actually only $200 for a proof coin, but proofs are usually more expensive than that. So maybe it still isn't uncirculated. So let's have a look at more. See if we can find another one without it. So, yeah, this one has it. So that one is not what we're looking for. You can see here, this one has it. You can see that coin has it. Does this coin have it? That's a bit hard to tell. Uh, has a little bit of it, a little bit of damage there. So maybe this is a developing card. So it probably would have been made on the actual master die. So they would have actually had a a few dies that would have been master dies, in which they would have actually made other dies. And if you have like two hundred thousand coins per die, I'm not too sure at this time period how many. Coins actually they got out of a die, then it's like it would have needed 10, probably at least 15 or 16 dies, so it's not too many, and pretty much all of them would have had this type of error, so it would have actually had to be transferred from a master die. See, and this one says it's got an Amy's egg MS, so that's the Amy's egg there. Let's have a look close up. So here's the actual emu's egg. See, it looks like more like an arrow with the arrow point going that way. So it's actually a high grade coin. Another one, let's have a look at this. Yeah, that has the emu's egg. You can quite clearly see it. You can see it right there. So definitely an emu's egg. So, except for that one that said it was proof, we haven't found any, so you can see it there, there, there. So it's quite a common thing. So really, this is not going to add value to the actual coin. What is actually going to add value is if it actually is missing the actual egg. So if it's missing the actual egg, then that seems to be a pretty scarce coin. I wouldn't say rare. I don't know how much the numbers. Let's have a look at another one. Yeah, see, you got it there as well. So this is going to add no value to the actual coin. It's just way too common. So let's have a look at another graded coin. Yeah, you can quite clear. That's, you can quite clearly see it there. So that one's a nice graded coin. Was it MS sixty four? Okay, here we have a clip planchet. Let's see if it's on the clip planchet. And oh yes, there it is. So this coin, what you would be buying is the actual clip and it's got some weakness in there which is what a clip planchet does and oh you can see it on that one oh, you can see it on that one on that coin look at that one yeah oh, you can see it there so pretty much most of them except for the one that they described as a proof. Okay, here's some more. You can see it. I can see it pretty much on all of them. Yeah, I can see it there. 
Okay, so this is just on 1944. 59, yeah, I can still see it. And almost done, so you could have $40. So let's see how much they actually sell for. So the actual bullion value of this coin is about $5.50 to $6. So you got excellent grade, looks probably EF. $20. This one looks like EF as well, $20. That one looks cleaned. High grade one, the $11. So this is pretty much the last you're going to get it. If you're lucky, you can get it for this price. Definitely. Oh, wait. No, $5.50. So, yeah, sorry. I was thinking of uh, the actual 92.5%. $13. And that looks EF to almost uncirculated. 26 almost uncirculated. So if you actually want a good one, it actually seems like you can get one for ten dollars That's actually a very good price that coin. So they're actually For three and a half million. They're actually quite easy to get in high grades. So I say these Probably might have been held back from being issued from circulation because of the actual cud problem and Oh that's the actual lot that I purchased. So that's what this coin is. That that coin here is actually that coin there. So as you can see, I purchased it for that one. That's for all that silver. Pretty much close to bullion. And then you've got another one, ten dollars, ten dollars ninety-eight. We got fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine. Uh, to me, that's actually probably a bit high price for those coins, but they're high grade. Uncirculated, forty dollars, and you got lower grades. But you got looks like uncirculated for fifteen. So you can really get good coins for a really good price. So yeah, that looks like probably EF to AU. Yeah. That's one you should probably want to get into your collection. Anyway, here's where I'll leave the video. I'll leave a link to eBay where you can actually look for these coins. And uh, obviously you can get really high grades for a really good price. So they're not actually trying to pump and dump this stuff. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope that actually explains what I think that problem is with this coin so this is looks like it's a cud i reckon if you get quite a few coins you could probably get the actual cud developing on the actual different dies so maybe on the master die it actually uh developed over time because they would have used probably not the master die but uh they probably would have engraved it and then they would, probably would have struck the coins to see if the actual die was the right quality. And uh, I'm surprised this actually got through the actual minting process. It actually took them a long time. 15, 16 dies it actually took them to actually get on top of this problem. So that's probably why the 1959 is a low mint coin. So thank you very much and have awesome coin and banknote collecting time.